Hello everyone! My name is Miss Dani Emanaga of Group 4 from STEM 12 Nine Mapag Malasakit. Today we are going to have an another experiment about Avogadro's gas law. And for our today's objective is to understand how Avogadro's gas law works. Second is to apply the Av Avogadro's gas law in the experiment. And lastly, is to conduct a simple and safe experiment just by using common household items. And because of that, I hope you'll enjoy and let's get started! So for the experiment, let's first fill this empty bottle half full with vinegar. So let's fill this balloon with baking soda. First, we use a funnel. Insert it on the balloon like that. Then it's crazy to the mouth. Let's secure it. Now that we are finished with our experiment, let's talk about the conclusion. As the baking soda and vinegar make contact, a reaction is present. The carbon dioxide has been released and pushed the liquid up and out of the bottle. The gas remains in the balloon, filling it up and caused it to inflate. So the carbon dioxide that was emitted, emitted at that time upon the contact of baking soda and vinegar represents the molecules of gas as it fills up the balloon. This shows the Avogadro's gas law, which defines that the total number of atoms or molecules of gas is directly proportional to the volume occupied by the gas at constant temperature and pressure. So that's all for today and I hope you'd like our video. And thank you for watching!